Dogs Forbidden in Qatar Did you know that more than a dozen dog breeds are deemed dangerous and outright banned in Qatar? Is your four-legged friend considered an outlaw in the Persian Gulf? And if so, why? In this video, you'll discover which dog breeds the government of Qatar have put on their most wanted list, and why they've been designated dangerous fugitive status. Let's start the list off with an all-American favorite, the American Staffordshire Terrier. Although the American Staffy is a well-loved and adored family pet throughout the world, they are banned in Qatar. Despite there being no scientific evidence that suggests that the American Staffy is any more dangerous than any other dog breed, owning an American Staffy in Qatar is strictly forbidden because they have the potential to be dangerous in the wrong hands. Because of their bold and fearless nature, coupled with impressive physical strength, if an American Staffy was to attack a human, it could potentially do a lot of damage. Qatar would rather be safe than sorry regarding this particular breed. Go Red Sox! Or should we say, no Red Sox? Although the Boston Terrier is widely known as the American Gentleman, because of its coat resembling a tuxedo, coupled with its friendly disposition, it unfortunately doesn't get a seat at Qatar's poker table. Boston Terriers are often lively, friendly, and intelligent, so their addition to the list of banned dogs of Qatar is a perplexing one to say the least. I guess they just struck out. One breed on Qatar's no-no list that isn't a huge surprise is the infamous Doberman. Doberman rank number four in aggression and are considered to have one of the strongest bites amongst its peers. That, coupled with their tendency to attack their own owners, makes them a feared dog breed throughout the world. Qatar says, Snoop, doggy, don't bring that dog here, please. Left, right, uppercut. The boxer is knocked out of Qatar. Even though the boxer is considered to be a very well-natured, playful, energetic, and intelligent dog, they can be aggressive under certain circumstances. Boxers are generally lovely dogs, but do have fatal potential and were responsible for seven mortalities in the year 2020. I guess Qatar has a zero-tolerance policy when it comes to curbing canine-related mortality cases. Speaking of being bullish, the Bull Terrier can also be found on Qatar's naughty dog list. This goofy-looking cutie can be gentle, affectionate, and very playful, but is also fiercely loyal and will protect its owners with its life. Bull Terriers are exceptionally tough and strong and have the potential to inflict a lot of damage to strangers, other animals, and even children. The potential for harm from the Bull Terrier is just too much of a red flag for Guitar to ignore. Another thing that's hard to ignore is the South African Borble. Weighing in at up to 172 pounds, or 78 kilograms, the Borble demands attention and got it in the way of a ban from the country of Qatar. Borbles are known to be calm, intelligent, and incredibly loyal, but can be dangerous in the wrong hands. Their sheer power and strength makes them capable of inflicting large amounts of damage, and they've been known to take down leopards and other big cats thought to be apex predators in the South African savanna. From the sprawling wilderness of the savanna to, well, a dog that just can't really handle life outdoors. The Sharpei of China cannot tolerate excessively hot nor cold temperatures and can have a temper of its own that has earned this folded furry friend an unfriendly welcome from the people of Qatar. The Sharpei is only really a threat to other dogs and rarely attacks humans. Despite this, their aggression is seen as a threat to public safety and that just isn't a bet the government of Qatar is willing to take. When raising a Sharpei, Qatar decided to fold. A full straight can't even pass Qatar's high standards. The straight-haired Afghan hound can go straight back to where it came from, as far as Qatar is concerned. The Afghan hound may win you best in show in a dog competition because of its agility, intelligence, speed, and keen hunting instincts, but it's not going to win you any favor among the legislators of Qatar. The Afghan hound can be a bit unpredictable in its nature and can sometimes be slightly moody if you don't pick up on its cues, lashing out if you don't read its body language correctly and don't give it enough space. Speaking of which, do you know what dog breed really needs space? The Great Dane. Standing it up to 90 centimeters tall on all four legs and able to stand taller than most humans when on their hind legs, 
These behemoths are among the largest dog breeds in the world. Great Danes are known as gentle giants and make fantastic family pets. But their sheer size makes their bite potentially life-threatening to intruders and ne'er-do-wells. Another gentle giant used as great guard dogs is the Neapolitan Mastiff. A descendant of the traditional guard dogs of central Italy, these easygoing and well-natured dogs can, like most breeds of dogs, be aggressive, especially if they think their owner is threatened or in some kind of trouble. Because the Neapolitan Mastiff is so large, it can potentially really injure a perceived attacker if they're trying to look after their owner. If you're looking for a true protector though, the next banned dog breed has even earned the nickname the Nanny Dog for its role in being a loyal and fierce defender of its family. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier is also known for being a child's playmate and best friend and is fun-loving, docile, and gentle enough for kids to play with. However, the Staffy is off-limits to families in Qatar because of their fierce protective instincts, making them potentially dangerous to strangers who get a bit too close to their loved ones. The Staffy gets its name from its place of origin, Staffordshire in the UK. Another famous English dog breed that is unwelcome in Qatar is the Bulldog. What's next, they're gonna ban tea and biscuits? The British Bulldog is involved in very few biting incidents, despite their massive popularity, and are generally known as very docile and pleasant dogs. The Bulldog is always looking to please its master, and is incredibly devoted to its owner, and can become aggressive in defense of the ones it loves. This, coupled with the notion that Bulldogs are largely indifferent to pain, could potentially spell out a dangerous combination for anyone whom the Bulldog perceives as a threat. The Rottweiler is another dog banned in Qatar that doesn't take threats very lightly. This fierce-looking German breed is only usually dangerous to those it doesn't know, but is often an adored member of any family home. Originally known as butcher's dogs in Germany, they would pull carts of meat to the market for their owners and were probably well-fed for their service. Crunching on all those bones most likely helped give the Rottweiler its powerful bite, which can be very dangerous, and is probably the reason why this loyal service dog isn't pulling any meat wagons around Qatar. If the bite force is the main reason the Rottweiler is banned from Qatar, then there is little wonder why the Japanese Akita receives the same treatment. The Japanese Akita has a bite force of up to 400 pounds per square inch, or PSI which is roughly 70 more PSI than the Rottweiler, making the Akita's bite one of the most dangerous in the world. Their acute attention, weariness of strangers, and intolerance of other animals, coupled with their intimidating size and weight, make them an easy target for people wanting to limit their population's exposure to potentially dangerous dogs. So if you're ever in Qatar and you're wondering why you can't find your favorite breed of dog in any of the streets or parks in and around the country, now you know. Some breeds of man's best friend are just too much of a risk to be led into the country, despite what you or I may feel about them, or how well-trained or how loved they are. Maybe one day Qatar will relax its ban on some of these dog breeds, but we don't see that happening anytime soon. You never know though. They say that every dog has his day. <laughs>